Dieses Video wird präsentiert von Asus. Hey, I'm Roland with Mobile Geeks right here at Computex 2015 and yeah, this is a new Asus Transformer book. It's the T100HA and as you can see, it's coming with Windows 10. In this case, it's running build or Windows Insider Preview build 10.1.2.5. So it's not the up to date or most up to date build in this case, but as you can see, they're definitely planning on launching this on Windows 10 because it's yeah supporting it very nicely. Um, what about the hardware itself, we have a 10.1 inch screen in this case. It's an IPS panel with a resolution of 1366 by 768 as usual. The whole thing is based on an IPS panel, so the viewing angles are pretty decent. And yeah, as you can see, 178 degrees viewing angles on all sides. Um, under the hood, we have two gigs of RAM or up to four gigabytes of RAM and combined with 32, 64 or 128 gigabytes of EMMC flash storage. Also under the hood is the new Intel Atom X5 Z8500, so it's a new um, Cherry Trail SOC. It's running at up to, I think, 2.14 gig, 2.16 gigahertz in this case, and it's got four cores and the new graphics part, so it definitely should be a bit faster than the old Atom Bay Trail series. What's special about this device is, again, it's a two-in-one design, and they've also upgraded the hardware externally a bit because we have a two megapixel camera on the front. That's pretty much as usual. But if we go on to the back, you will see that this has a metal casing. It's got a five megapixel camera up here, plus two stereo speakers on both sides, and the whole thing weighs in at 580 grams, and the thickness is at only 8.45 millimeters is what ASUS is saying. Combined with a dock, you'll end up with a weight of just over one kilogram. As you can see, the, the UI for Windows is still a bit buggy on that build that was released a couple of weeks ago from Microsoft. Um, but let's go on to the sides of the device because it's going to get really interesting. We have a storage extension slot right here that is a micro SD card slot for sure. We have a micro HDMI out plus your micro HDMI, uh, micro USB port for charging and that is your headset jack. But what's interesting is the other side because right there you have one of the first tablets with Windows 10 that has a micro USB type C. Uh, port. So that's the new reversible standard with the new reversible plugs that you might know from the MacBook. And now Windows or Microsoft and its hardware partners are also supporting it in Windows 10 and they are putting it on the first devices. This is your volume rocker up top on the left hand side. On the top of the device right here is your power button. These are the noise cancelling microphones and this is your 5 megapixel camera. On the bottom, the usual docking ports, and that is pretty much it on this device. But what they have also done is they have removed the slider to dock the device. So you just put it in, it locks magnetically, and that should be pretty much it. The base itself is not made out of metal. It's still a pretty decently sized keyboard, so they've definitely learned from the last couple of years. It's probably a bit of a bendy thing going on here, but it's always going to be included in the package with it. And the pricing is supposed to start at, let me say that very quietly, because I'm not supposed to say it, it's 279 US dollars for the 2 gig model in this case on the 32 gig uh, flash storage version. Um, the trackpad feels pretty good, it's definitely yeah, nicely clickable, it's a little bit flimsy on the left right here, but this is definitely still a prototype device. Let's close it down so you can see the overall thickness, that should be in line with the usual um, sizes of the ACES uh, transformer books. Over here we have a full size USB 3 port, so definitely are able to dock it to whatever you like and connect peripheral devices directly. Uh, there is not much else on the keyboard, no integrated um, battery as far as I heard, and the non-removable uh, cover down here suggests that there is not going to be a hard drive in this device. So this has just been a very quick look at the new ASUS Transformer Book T100HA at Computex 2015, and I was along with Mobile Geeks. If you like what we do on our channel, give us a thumbs up, follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Google+, and we'll see you later. Dieses Video wird präsentiert von Asus.